Here we go, round one, game one. And yeah, I think, what are we on the draw? Yeah, we're on the draw. I mean, this is definitely a mulligan either way. One land, not gonna cut it. Uh, this hand I think we keep though. All three of our colors, two drop and a removal spell. It's pretty much as good of a uh, six card hand as you can ask for. Ooh, looks like we might be playing the mirror match. Frostborn weird. Okay, so we might have been passing towards this guy. If we were, that's interesting just because, I mean, Frostborn weird's common, so he easily could have just had a different one. Uh, we'll go ahead and play our Roust about Unleashed, I think. You know, if he attacks here with Frostborn weird and pumps, I'm more than happy because I'm just going to suit up my Roust about and bash. We can kill his Frostburn with Augur Spear whenever we want to. Alright, looks like that's what he's doing. Okay, so I don't think there's any reason to show him that we have blue mana yet. So we'll just play the swamp and put our pursuit of flight down. This might incentivize him to leave back the frostborn weird next turn to block the roustabout. Although probably not, since I guess the roustabout can regen. Either way, there's no reason to show him the island yet. Ogre Jailbreaker. All right. So I guess we'll play, I mean, we play the island now either way. So we want to play our Rex Um I don't think we need to pop our guy up in the air. Uh, or actually maybe, no, I don't think we do because if he wants to block it and uh, have his Jailbreaker die, that's fine with me. Gosh, are we, we might be taking 8 next turn. That's quite a bit. Hmm, maybe this is not the correct play. So we could also Augur Spree his either the Jailbreaker or probably the Jailbreaker versus the Frostborn Weird. Um, if we do that and then we bash for 4, we're still kind of losing the race, but we might be able to play our Rex Mati. My concern is that the Rex Mati won't do very much right now, because uh, we only have the one red mana, and we would need that to Augur Spree next turn, probably. I don't know if I want to take eight. Eight's a lot of damage. Um, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna attack and see if he blocks. I don't think you will. Yeah, now I think we just um, kill the jailbreaker while he's tapped out. Out. He has green mana, so he theoretically could have pump in his deck. Um, so I didn't want to wait until it was his turn. So yeah, hopefully he doesn't, he's not able to, yeah, at this point he needs to start playing other spells. Ew. That is quite large. Uh, kind of unfortunate. <laughs> we can't block that. Um, alright, well, just going to go ahead and bash again. I guess play out our Rick's Money Guild Mage. This is awkward that we can't do anything this turn. Taking a lot of damage. 
We might have to chump the spawn of Rixmati. Actually, I think we might just do that, because we're winning the race with a roustabout now. Then we're kind of all in on the roustabout, so if he has removal for it, we're pretty dead. Which he very easily could have. He's black red, he could have an auger spree. We saw a bunch going around. A bunch. I know we saw at least one other one going around. Alright, so let's say we take it. Um, this is 10 damage, we go to 5. Yeah. It's pretty awkward. He still has three cards in his hand. I'm going to pause and think about this for a sec. Okay, so the conclusion I've come to is that there's multiple removal spells he could theoretically have with three cards left in his hand. The only one that flat out kills Grim Roust about, I believe, is Augur Spree, because all the other ones I could regen through. So I don't want to go to five because he could have explosive impact and just kill me. So I'm going to I'm going to chump this spawn of Rixmani. Pains me to do that, but I don't see any other choice. Sewer Shambler. Oh, that's annoying. So now he can gain life, right? Yeah, so he can gain two. Um, all right, well, we have our own Sewer Shambler. So I think the play here, instead of playing um, Xanakiv Locus, because then we'd be tapped out and we can't pop this guy up in the air, he could just chump it with his Sewer Shambler. I think we have to give our guy flying, um, bash him down to four, and then play our own Sewer Shambler. This leaves regen up on our roustabout, and uh, we can play our Sewer Shambler to chump his Spawn of Rixmati for a turn. He can still deal a decent amount of damage to us. Um, two with this if he uses it, and then four is six, so eight. Um, but I don't think he'll have mana to uh, use Explosive Impact because he'll have to tap one at least to use this, and then he'll have to pump that as well, so um, I think this is our best potential path to victory. This way too, if he uh, uses Deathrite Shaman to gain two life and put him up to six and we chump with Sewer Shambler, we can scavenge onto our Grim Roustabout the next turn. And we don't have a choice either way. We have to we have to chump the spawn because we'd be taking lethal. So I guess if he has removal here, actually he just kills the sewer shambler and then we die. So maybe that's what's happening. Gutter snipe. Okay. Don't know. I mean, if he has. All right. So we might be in the clear here. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, so let's see. He could have ultimate price. Um, that would kill the roust about, and I would have to regen it so it wouldn't do damage this turn. Um, that would take me down to 10. But I think either way, I have to go for the kill this turn. Um, I don't think I can afford to play Xanakiv Locust, because I need to pop this guy up in the air. I can play Gorehouse Chainwalker just as a blocker to chump the spawn of Erxmati. So I guess we'll just try this. I presume this is ultimate price? I'm trying to think like what other cards could I mean he could have can't have Golgari Charm because his green is tapped down. 
Oh, he doesn't have a swamp. That's bizarre. For some reason, I thought he had one. All right. Um, well, that was a big mistake. So, yeah, that was stupid. My bad. Here's hoping I just don't die. So I don't, he didn't have the removal spell in hand, I don't think, because he would have just killed me if he had it. So, um, maybe we still get him here? That was a pretty horrible misplay on my part, though. So he probably just sends in the whole team now. And I have to block his 6-4, so I'm taking 4. Jeez, if he... Actually, I'm just dead, aren't I? 4, 6, 8, and then 2 from this, 10. No, maybe not. We'll see. So this brings me down to two if he uses the death right shaman. Just got the GG, so yeah, looks like we won despite my terrible misplay. Yeah, that was really bad throwing the super chandler away. You just I for some reason I assumed he had all those black creatures in play in my head. I was thinking he had a swamp out. Um Alright. So do we want to change anything? We have creatures that Electricry might be potentially good against. I mean, Frostborn Weird, it's not really that great against. You have to pump it up to 4-1. Um, Ogre Jailbreaker, not really. Spawn of Exmati, not really. Yeah, so we didn't see any good targets for Electricry. Presumably has removal, but I, I don't think we have a, a good enough mana base to bring in, like, Dispel or Mizium skin. And furthermore, I mean, I guess we could maybe take out a Thought Flare and put in a Dispel. That might be legit. Just for, you know, like, curve purposes, we probably want to be more aggressive anyways. <laughs> I can't believe I'm taking out a Thought Flare. So sad. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe that might be good. So yeah, the, ni the nice thing with Thought Flare is, or with Dispel is that it counters things like Explosive Impact, which I presume he has. Although it doesn't counter Traitor's Instinct, which he might have, but we haven't seen it. I think I'd prefer the Dispel in this scenario. So.